What's the crack, lads? We are back and we're going to be taking just a quick look at these Italian League Guardians. Now, we've already done Barisi, Maicon and Candela as our legends in this pack. But now we're going to be focusing on the other players that make up this 10-man uh, selection or 12-man selection, as you see here. So you've got these three. We've already covered those and given the best build. If you want to check out that video, you can do so. It should be linked to this video. And then we also have a couple of players that I want to talk about here, right? So people in the chat in the last video told me that this guy's name is Chow, right? I'm going to call him Chow because that's what I think it's called. I think you guys are trolling me. But anyway, I will look that up. My pronunciations are horrible. But Ravella is a good player. Pabard is a fantastic option in here. There's a couple of players here that we're not going to really focus on too much, but we'll go through them all, right? So we'll get the kind of weaker players out uh, uh, kind of early doors, right? This guy, I mean, as a defensive fullback, is very, very good, right? If you are looking for um, Barisi and you happen to get one of these, I mean, you're obviously not going to open this pack unless you're really looking to try and get Pavard. I would say definitely open this pack if you are looking to get Barisi. He probably is worth spinning. Uh, I personally probably won't because my centre-back partnerships are already kind of figured out. Um, but if you are a newcomer and you've got a couple of coins, they are definitely worth spinning, especially for Barisi and Mycon. I think Mycon will be very, very boosted over the next couple of weeks. Um, but Pavard is definitely probably the pick of the pack in here lads including all the legends i mean it's ridiculous we'll get to him in a second but then you have perez you've got Oliveira, you've got rishi and you've got smalling and chesney who are not really that good so we'll go through them very very quickly right i'll just show you a build for him in a second as well this guy's got a wavering form as an extra front man he's a center back he doesn't have blocker but he does have some fairly decent stats when we actually go over and look at him on eFootball db you're going to see there that he actually boosts up to a 93 overall with every defensive stat into the 90s, aggression at 97, and of course, you've got speed and acceleration all into the 80s. So using him as your kind of versatile, um, Barisi-esque kind of high defense, but also mobile and fast and strong, he's an act he's actually a brilliant option. The same with, um, I would say, Chris Smalling. He's not as good, but he still has nice 70 speed, 92 physical contact, defensive awareness, tackling aggression and defensive engagement with header at 90 as well is pretty decent. Jump at 90 is going to make him nice as well. Um, it's a fairly decent card, right? We also have Oliveira, um, who is down as a left back. This guy is pretty decent. Again, you can see his defensive stats. Have you guys noticed, I said this a couple of videos ago, have you guys noticed now that with the new cards that they're, they're bringing out, a lot of the players have got high speed and acceleration. I was saying for months and months and months that when you're training your center backs, you always need to have one, if not two of your center backs with 75 plus acceleration. That seems to have extended out now. It seems that the real meta center backs have got like 80 acceleration and all of these left backs, right backs, most of them have got at least three defensive stats over 90. Um, in this case, this guy has got four of his defensive stats over 90. He's also got stamina over 90. And then he's got his speed and acceleration either at 90 or around the 90 mark. So that's kind of where they've been training the guides up. If you guys, if you guys have been paying attention to that, right? But again, this guy is fairly decent. I mean, he's got some nice player skills with man mark and interception. He's down as a defensive fullback. If you miss out on Barisi and you get this guy um, or Perez, they're not bad options as center backs or left backs. You know, they're not bad options at all. Uh, Richie, this guy as a DM, very very solid Def uh, defensively very solid tackling aggression and defensive engagement all over the 90 uh, when you train him up or around that mark you're also going to have 92 low pass if you don't use this guy i mean he is down as an orchestrator so i definitely think with the true pass and one touch pass and way to pass you need that pass instead up to around the 90 mark but if you don't if you find yourself that you're not really passing that much with your dmf if you use him as kind of like a holding dmf or a you know a center a center midfielder um you could actually reduce that passing quite a bit because 90 passing with the manager boost here you're going to get a plus two to that is probably more than enough for most players i mean the passing is still wayward at times and what you could do then is that would in, that would kind of free you up to actually be able to boost up his aerial strength um or his physical contact and his jump to have him a little bit more stronger in the air and on the ground right um and as we all we already covered the rest of them right so what i would say is those guys that you're seeing there Perez, Oliveira, Rishi, Smalling, and Chesney. We're not even going to go into Chesney, lads, because even though he's got unwavering form and he's got low punt, he doesn't have long throw. And even though you can get the stats into the kind of 90 with three stats, I mean, he's just, you know, a normal goalkeeper. Now, if he has the pajamas, that's a different case. But he is just a normal keeper um, that you can buy, right? Even with all those levels. So the big kind of attraction for the, this pack, as well as the legends, is going to be these three boys here. Now, we will focus first on Ravella. And this guy plays for uh, Lazio. 
He's not a bad player with unwavering form. He doesn't have blocker as an orchestrator, uh, which you wouldn't expect him to have. And he does have low lofted, no look, and weighted pass with true pass and one-touch pass and gamesmanship and fighting spirit. So he's a fairly decent player. Um, when you train him up, again, you, ha you have, to have to make that decision of how you want to kind of train him up, right? So we've gone for a defensive build first to get the tackle and aggression and defensive engagement all over the 90s. Aggression is going to be 96. We're also going to have speed and acceleration nearly at 80, which is quite decent. Very Kimmich-like, brilliant passing, brilliant defensively aware and very good stamina, speed, and acceleration while not excelling in any of those attacking stats. Now, if we wanted to bring him as a center mid, we can actually take that down to maybe nine defensively, and we're still going to have the passing, but what we can actually do is we can boost up his dexterity uh, quite a bit. We can actually go to 83. We're going to get a plus two boost to that. We could also go a little bit here with the speed to get that to a plus, and then we could also pop three into the dribbling. So that's a very good Kimmich-esque type card, right? I would say the same for Xiao. This guy is a really, really solid player if you look at his stats here, lads. I mean, player skills, he does have blocker, interception, area superiority, man marking, and long throw. I would add to that, definitely I would add uh, um, acrobatic clearance. That's a must for a player like this. Fighting spirit if you could do it. But his stats are all in the 90s and you are going to be kind of looking at him as your main Van Dyke-esque type centre back that's going to be mopping up every aerial ball that goes in and taking on your opponent's target man, right? So very, very strong card. But the pick of them, lads, has got to be... It's got to be... Pavard. Yeah, it has to be Pavard, lads. Defensive full back, but don't let that fool you because this guy is one of the best centre backs in the game and this is one of the best cards that they've ever released of Pavard. There has been multiple. There's been multiple. But forget about his defensive full back play style. Um, forget about the fact that he doesn't have blocker. If you can add blocker to this guy, area superiority, man marking, interception, acrobatic clearance, fighting spirit, everything that you could possibly want, stick heading and, and uh, blocker on him, and you will have one of the best that can compete with Tommy Yasu big time, who I think is probably the best non-legend card they've ever released, right? Don't believe me, lads. Look at the actual stats that this man has, right? Now, you can tweak these in multiple ways, but essentially what we're going to look for here is... Uh, to get all his defensive stats are going to be over 90 including a 99 defensive engagement and tackling and aggression at the 90 mark with the plus two booster that we get with the manager booster right defensively defensive awareness is going to be 93 but on top of that lads we're also going to have speed and acceleration nearly at the 80 and 85 mark so speed is going to go to 85 86 if you've got 10 hag acceleration is going to be 77 I would probably change this guy slightly, okay, slightly, just because I'm not like a massive fan of um, the speed stat, because you don't really need speed, you honestly don't need speed as a centre back, anything over 80 is not going to make that much of a difference, I would probably pop one more into dexterity, so that means that with speed and acceleration, with any high rated manager, you're going to have them in the 80 zone, and also with the jump at 94, I think that's more than enough. But for this Pavard and for what I'm going to be using him for, I would definitely like to get um, the, the jump up a little bit more or else the aerial strength up a little bit more. Just, just a bit. I mean, I'm not going to go too mad with it, um, but we can max it out there. So that's as mad as we can go with it. 97 jump is going to be very, very strong on this card. Just try this build out, lads. Try this build out. So it's 5 into dexterity, it's 12 into aerial strength, it's 13 into defending, and it's 1 into goalkeeper 1. And if you can throw blocker on him as well, he will be an absolute beast. So that is my pick for those packs if you do get him. There's a couple of nice players in there we've gone through. Check out my other guides as well and check out my legend guide on this. Let me know what you guys think. That's all the players covered with my recommendation being Pavard. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe.